Hey everybody, it is Lady T, and we are back with the HBCU wrap-up. As you know, there are 106 historically black colleges and universities. You already know the school I'm repping, the illustrious Morgan State University, where I got my broadcast and integrated media degree. But there are so many other HBCUs and so many other people within my network that went to some other ones. So today, we are taking it to the Tidewater area to Norfolk State University. For my representative, can you introduce yourself and tell a little bit about your HBCU experience? Uh, hey everybody, my name is Camion Mack. Um, I graduated from Norfolk State back in 2015, Mass Communication, General Broadcasting, with an emphasis in music. Um, HBCU experience, it was an experience. I was in a band joined the fraternity, did all that good stuff. Um, but it ain't nothing like an HBCU. I've, I've gone to, you know, I got my master's at Full Sail. It's not even the same. Yes. But, you know, met my wife. All kind of, it's, you know, it's not like an HBCU in my opinion. Let's go. I love it. Um, yeah, band, life, you know. <laughs> um. It's just a different experience. It, it prepares you for life. Norfolk State definitely prepared me for my life right now. So that's awesome. Yes, yes. So talking yeah. about uh, <laughs> the get the get into the to the HBCU, right? Was an HBCU was Norfolk State your number one choice? Was it even on your list of places to go? Norfolk State was actually number two. Bethune-Cookman College at the time was number one. Um, and me being in a band, you know, I auditioned for Bethune-Cookman, auditioned for Norfolk State. Those are my top two choices, though. Um, got a full scholarship in Norfolk State. I was gone. Let's go. <laughs> you got to go where the money is. Um, yeah, yeah, because school ain't cheap. It isn't. <laughs> So you talked about yeah. your your wife, right? So you and your wife went to the same HBCU. How was that experience dating in an HBCU in college? So I had no intentions on dating when I met her. I was just trying to live. I had heard all the rumors, you know, the ratio of women and men was like nine to one. And I was like, I'm not about to date nobody. I'm just about <laughs> to, you know, party and have fun. You know, but you know, met her in the band. Um, you know, she was a, she was a flag. I played tuba. It just kind of happened, but you yeah, know, it was it was. I without me going to Norfolk State, I wouldn't have never met her. I wouldn't be here right now. So, you know, it yes. was definitely you know well worth it in my, my opinion. That is awesome. So, what would your advice now? You know, as a graduate of Norfolk State University, a husband, a father, what would Camion's advice now be to freshman Cam? Uh, take your time. Okay. Enjoy the moment. Uh, soak up all the game you can soak up while you're there. It's, it's so much, so many people, yeah. so many people from different walks of life that you are surrounded by. Um, being a communications major, you really get deep into that, as you know. Yeah. Our majors are similar. So, you know, you really get deep into different personalities, different people, different experiences, and those networking opportunities are huge. Yeah. Um, part of the reason I'm even where I'm at today is from networking, from people with other HBCUs. Like my previous manager, my last job, they got me where I'm at now with the A&T. I yeah, talk about it, but you know, <laughs> listen. Once we graduate, it's all love. It don't matter which one you go to, as long as you go. I can talk trash. I ain't gonna let nobody else talk trash. I ain't gonna let so, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly how it is, though. That's like the family portion of going to an HBCU. You can talk trash about each one, but let somebody say something about an HBCU, and everybody yeah. is on them. I ain't let nobody talk about it. I can do it because I I got family with the A and T and everything. I can do it. Yeah, this is over. It's over. But you know, we know it's all love when we talk trash to each other. Yes. So, <laughs> why do you think it's important to get an HBCU um, education? 
because as African, especially as minorities, um, you get to gain that education with people that actually resemble you, actually understand where you're coming from. Um, a lot of my professors I'm still friends with on Facebook and stuff like that to this uh-huh. day. Um, and it, it prepares you for, because I don't want to say they're harder on you, but they, they let you know that. It's pressure. So it's that pressure. Yeah, black man in the, in the real world, you need to be ready for this and that because it's not going to be what you think, and it ain't. So, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the education was just more personable. Yes. Um, you know, I can go talk to my professors on a one-on-one level. I mean, when my uh, oldest daughter, when my wife got pregnant with my oldest daughter, one of the first people I told was my band director. Yeah. It was, he was like a, a father figure. So, you know, you don't get, I don't think you get that personal blue experience anywhere else. Absolutely. So with historically black colleges and universities, they are rich with traditions. What is a Norfolk state tradition that you loved when you were there? Oh man, I got a few. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you was, you was in the midst, right? In the band, yeah. you was in the midst. Y'all pretty sure y'all do have a lot. Being in a band, you know, North State, we played Behold coming in to the stadium. It's like the first time I heard that in high school, it was like almost like intimidating. Yeah. And I thought that was so dope. I thought it was so dope. So, you know, then we got the Spartan Shuffle, you know, our very own inversion or version of the electric slide. That Let's owned. go. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, man. Uh, pet band games, football games, just different traditions different things we all did in the, in the games that you're just not going to see nowhere else, you know? Yeah, that is true. <laughs> that is true. So being a graduate of Norfolk State University, what's a tradition or a gem or anything that you've taken with you now as a graduate? Um, I don't know, tradition, I wouldn't say, but just, just as a graduate, just knowing that it's always somebody around. Like I'm, yeah. I'm six, six hours, five and a half, six hours away from Virginia, and you know, it's so many people down here. I've, I've I had this shirt on one time, met somebody randomly. Oh, you went yep. to You know, you can always find somebody. So, and it's always like I said, it's always those networking opportunities. That's that's led me to, you know, a DJ. That's led me to DJ gigs. You know, um, it's it's always a family vibe. I've I've been yes. on the plane randomly with somebody you know one of my older frat brothers he's sitting behind me randomly on the plane like yeah you always yeah. it's always somebody and you know when you got your your, your you know north state morgan and when you got that stuff on people recognize it yeah oh you in north state yeah my then you hear the story yeah my brother went back in 92 I'm like, all the stories but you know um but definitely that 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 networking is really big for me because I've networked with a lot of people from various HBCUs, especially my own. Um, and that's something I, I, I think anybody that attends a HBCU or recognize they will take this for the rest of their life. Yes, because the thing is, like, it's like, once again, it's like that black culture. Everybody wants to see everybody win. We always want to hype somebody. So I absolutely agree with the networking portion. Like one thing I got from Morgan, somebody said to me, your network is your net worth. And you just don't know how many people you're connected to until you get that network, right? So I absolutely agree with that. Carry on, I want to say thank you for being my Norfolk State's representative and letting them know what the Tidewater area HBCUs is like. Guys, it is Lady T and that was Carry On from Norfolk State University. He got to be a part of the HBCU, like the feel of it, the band, the homecoming. You guys have heard about the band and the homecoming from other HBCU representatives, but he was in the midst of it, right? As you said, he was playing the tuba. He was he was doing the dances. He was he was in there. So it is Lady T from the HBCU wrap up. Stay tuned for everything I got coming up, guys, because we are talking HBCUs this week. <laughs>